Egypt's stock market has opened on a high after the weekend, as some investors clearly saw an optimistic future following the ouster of President Mohamed Morsi. Despite fresh political turmoil over the weekend, the main stock index opened 1.5 percent higher and was up 1.2 percent after several minutes of trading. We saw on the second day of the military's resolution a very clear rise in the stock market that we had not witnessed in years. We had very good volumes of trade and the figures were high. The investors were clearly not worried and were entering the market. Today and after the recent events, we expect the volume to be lower. We expect there would be a lot of selling, but it was still less than expected. There were drops, but it was not significant compared to what we expected. It is normal that after a surge, there will be a period of stabilization because it is a gain in profits period. Turnover was small and buying focused on small caps rather than blue chips, suggesting most interest came from local retail investors rather than institutions or foreigners. Hopes that Morsi will be succeeded by a technocratic government that addresses economic problems helped boost the stock market by 7.3 percent last week. I think this period of optimism will continue if the political situation stabilizes and if there is no repeat of the violence such as what we witnessed a few days ago. Stability will reflect positively on the Egyptian stock market and will help it regain some of the losses it incurred in the last year. Despite the stock market optimism, however, the economy is still faltering. At a time when Egypt can ill afford to lose foreign aid, U.S. President Barack Obama has ordered a review of its annual 1.5 billion U.S. dollar military assistance, as required by law should the country's military oust a democratically elected leader. However, Egypt's ambassador to the United States has said the ouster of Morsi was not a coup, but rather a necessary measure to keep violence on the streets from spiraling out of control.